Well, good evening. So, uh, this is the main show for today. I did the by request video. And so, this is what well, this one is a new one to me. I'm not a huge Chevy guy, uh, but I did see this set. I do like this. Uh, I really shouldn't say I'm not a huge Chevy guy. I don't like a lot of Hot Wheels Chevy castings. Um, and uh, I'm giving M2 yet. Well, I've gotten quite a few M2 recently. So I uh, wanted to check out this uh, M2 Auto Lift 2-pack set. Um, uh, two 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air. Um, a blue one and a black one. These look nice. So let's see if we can see a copyright of 2015, I guess. Let's see if we can see any type of release date information. Uh, I found this on eBay. It seemed very reasonable. Uh, originally, I wanted to buy one 55 Chevy. Uh, but I saw this two-pack for the same price as an Auto Details um, set. And I said, well, two for one and the Auto Lift. So let's, let's see what this is all about. Let's take this off out of the package. Let's take the plastic out of here. See if the hood closes. Ooh, come on, baby, close. All right, maybe when we get it off the lift. It's one of the problems with these M2s when the hoods are open in the package for so long and then when you take them off. So, I'm going to take the lift off the plinth to get the black one off. And yeah, I know. Screws, screws. I'm sorry. Didn't I say the last time I didn't want to have you have to waste your time while I undo screws? Ought to get you ready for the real life world of M2 because with M2 you're going to be dealing with one screw with screws one way or another either just to get the car off the display stand or to take the car off to make needed adjustments. Uh, M2 are very nice, but having a good screwdriver is always a good idea.
the final screw to go. If we were in, in on radio, we'd be talking that using the term dead air. So, there, let's get one on camera for you to check out. And so, this one has open door and it looks like it's got some sort of black plastic display deal here that keeps one door open and keeps the hood open. So let's get the black one off of the lift. So let's take a look at that. Nice detail. So looks like there's a rubber band on this one. Inadvertently wrap that one around the tires. There we go. And I guess that's the hold. The door is closed. So the doors sort of want to open. Let's take a look. So nice tail light, separate bumper. Paint job is beautiful. I like the chrome trim um this looks like it has a modern engine underneath the hood nice hood ornament let's see looks like lensed headlights nice chrome grill and that ho that hood does not want to close why because it's an M2, that's why. All right. Nice custom rims. They almost look like Z28 rims. Copyright 2015 Crestline. 1955 Bel Air used under license. Metal body, metal chassis. Rubber tires, nice rims. Uh, but this one, the doors don't want to open and the hood doesn't want to close. And the blue one has some drag racing decals. The Foothill Boulevard Flash. More traditional Kreger wheels. Um, looks like a more traditional engine there with a hood scoop on the top of the hood lensed details from what I can see like a nice interior caution car in tow so let's try and get this one off the base and see if the doors will open and close I just saw Boggs' video today. He got a big um, M2 haul at his local store, actually in the store. This one, as I said, I ordered online, so this looks like it's an older set. Uh, came nicely packaged. Um, there we go. So this door has been open in the package. Interior looks nice. Let's see if the door closes. It does. The shut lines don't look too bad. Uh, let's see if we can get the hood 
to close. Oh, success. That one closes. I'm sure it'll open up again, but at this point, yep, it'll, it'll open, but I'm not going to force it. This door, all right, so... This door sort of wants to open. But again, the opening parts is, is where some of these... And the, uh, the door lines aren't too bad. The chrome line here sort of here and here line up. I don't need to open up the doors. This is a pretty cool... Uh, I don't know if you'd call this a gasser. It's definitely a drag racer. It's DC. I think, uh, you know, I'm not a drag racing expert. I mean, I used to take my car, uh, run in uh, street trophy class. This one's got big, thick slicks in the back and tiny little front runners there. Um, Azusa, California. This is pretty cool. And if I can get the hood to close on the black one, I'll be very happy with this set. Uh, as I said, I, I, I'm not really a gasser guy and uh, don't have many in my collection. Uh, and I don't have any of the Hot Wheels 55 gassers uh, because... They get snatched up, and, and I'm not that into them that I'm going to pay exorbitant prices uh, on the secondary market. But uh, this particular set was <clears throat> very reasonable. Um, I guess I will have to, like I said, unscrew it and see if I can play with that hood to get it down. Oh, okay, there, it's down, and it may never come up again. It, and I'm fine with that. It's not 100% perfect. So this black one reminded me of uh, two movies. And you know how I love movies. Uh, the black one from uh, Farva's car from American Graffiti. So everybody who loves Han Solo, um, Harrison Ford, this was one of his early movies. He was the Texan driving around to challenge John Milner in American Graffiti. Um, this has got some nice details. Look at those taillights. Um, if they're not acrylic, they're just painted so well that they almost look acrylic. And I believe they are either chrome or plastic insert. Um, these aftermarket rims, I mean, maybe what I could do is swap the rims on the blue and black one. Uh, or I could just, you know, Make do as it is. I don't know. I'm not much of a... I've never done a full custom. And I don't think that doing a wheel swap on an M2 qualifies as a custom. But these are real nice pieces. And I wanted this one for a future video. Uh, and when I, if I can have two for the price of one, these are, these are pretty nice. Um, I'll have to remove this thing here so that I don't have to do the whole door open thing. Um, and what did I, uh, they said that you can stack these. So, yeah, I guess technically, yeah. You can stack these lifts. So there goes a square body and then a shoe box. Right? 55 to 57 Chevys are called shoeboxes. Um, I'm looking for, like, uh, Todd from Mountain 66 to correct me, uh, or some of the Chevy guys. I, I, you know, I believe they're called shoeboxes. I think that is one of their nicknames. So let me know what you think of these. I mean, you know, uh, again, my initial disappointment when the hoods wouldn't close, but now that they're closed, um, uh, this one I really love. It's just a, a nice, clean, I don't even mind these 
wheels. I think it may look better with these wheels. So maybe, maybe I will swap these wheels down the road. What do you think? Does the black one keep these modern wheels or should I go for the more traditional wheels? I mean, th this one has street legal uh, slicks and regular tires up front. So it's a uh, pro, not pro street, a pro tour. And this one's definitely drag strip only. Smooth, slick tires and skinny little front runners. Um, I'm surprised there's not a little gas tank on the front bumper. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, these are nice. So, uh, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Um, I have more M2 in the pipeline. Uh, eventually going to crack that uh, Firebird that I showed a couple of weeks ago. Uh, after initially criticizing M2, um, again, I prefer the Drivers series where there's no opening feature. Uh, but... Um, but these others are winning me over uh, after I, my initial nightmare with the first couple I got. So M2 55 Chevys or M2 Shoebox Chevys. That's what I'll call the video. Shoebox Chevys. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Comment down below. Um, I have a little bit of a backlog on M2s, so there may be another M2 video this week. I also have some special stuff that arrived in the mail. Um, yeah. So, have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.